Charlie Cushain here to do another truck camper mod. I'm in my chalet double slide at the sink and we have a traditional faucet that I put in that's new but this time I'm going to do my stage two of getting my camper ready to go into Baja Mexico and the first thing I tell you don't drink the water so I already have a filtration system that purifies the water going into the tank and now to be doubly sure I'm going to change out this little drinking faucet with this new Akuva Aeromax 2.0. It is a two liters per minute um, water faucet that uses UV LEDs to sterilize the water. And the best part is it runs on 12 volts. So let's get to installing it. Okay, this new water system was developed for both RVs and boats to purify the water. And it this is the whole box. And simple, 12 volt goes in here. This hooks up to the faucet, which you see right here. And this will glow blue to show you it's working. And also the faucet will glow blue here at the bottom. So when you're at the sink and you're using it, you'll know the UV's working. And then water in, water out. So pretty simple. We just have to find a place to mount this underneath and get it all hooked up. Okay, first thing we have to do, take out this old faucet. I loosened a nut and unplumbed it. There we go. They say drill a three quarter inch hole which I already have, but that would have been an easy drill. So if you're doing it from scratch, no problem. And then next, you have to put this cord down. This is to power the light, so you know it's working. So this has to go down. Okay, then the new faucet goes down. Perfect. Where do I want this? This handle's off to the side, the right side. So maybe I do the same here instead of forward. Yeah, this can spin. So yeah, right there is perfect. Now I got to go underneath and attach it with these pieces. Let's go do that. As this goes, you put put the wire through the hole to start with, and start it up on the post. And you just tighten it by hand. Okay. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is mount this controller, or where the UV lights are, right here. It's right near the doorway, so we can see in and make sure the lights are on and it's working. It's easy to access. So I'm going to mount it right here. And... The way it's mounted is they have this bar that you mount to the wall and then it just clicks in. So I gotta mount this bar right here. That's next. Whenever I mount like thin plywood, I like using a piece of tape as well. And this is a 3M VHB tape and it will help hold, not just hold it, but during vibration going down the road, it makes it much more rigid. So there, I'm using a one and a half inch piece of wood as a spacer to get this nice and level. So I wanna put this on this and just put it right there. Now that I know it's nice and level, I can uh, put 
put the screws in they gave me with it. And as you know, I like the hand tighten stuff. So I know I got it. On the bottom. Yeah. This wire from the faucet. I'll have to wire tie and everything. This will plug in right. There we go. And then 12 volt power goes right here. Okay, to get power for this UV uh, sanitizer, I ran a wire from the back of my 12 volt CO2 detector. And then I ran it across and then up to the top of the island. Then I ran it across and I'm doing something different. I wired in this switch, all right, in line with the power. So the power will hook up here and then now I could turn it on and off with this switch. See it went on? Off. And the reason I did that is when it's running and sterilizing, it takes nine watts, but when it's in standby mode with this light on the other light, it takes 0.1 watts. And even though that's a low amount of wattage, I Definitely didn't want that to be all the time, especially when I have it in storage for any length of time. So now I'm just going to take this and stick this right here. So then whenever we're using the camper, we just open the door and we can turn it on. Piece of cake. Okay, the next thing we have to do is hook up this. You have to put the furl on the end with this nut. <laughs> They say hand tighten it and then give it a quarter turn. I think that's a quarter turn. And also, you see the flow restrictor right here. You have to put that on and make sure you get that going the right way. Now we hook it to the out, which is right here. There we go. Perfect. Now we just have to get the water from the filter over to here now. Okay, for the water, I tapped off the main water line, came across, they give you this you uh, charcoal filter, and then that goes up and over to the um, UV sanitizer. Okay, so the water goes in here, through the system, out here, through the flow restrictor, to the faucet okay now for a test of course we have to initialize turn it on by this and you can see and then start using the water now I'm using my pump so as you can see when I turn it on this nice blue light tells me it is sterilizing now if I turn the switch off and depower it water keeps flowing it's just not sterilized so you gotta see this blue light in the flow meter tells you it's working. Success, stage two complete, ready for the Baja.